What's going on guys, well watch us back again with an actual video this time, no live stream unfortunately. In this video I'll be explaining the entire situation from the beginning from Mauricio Sorry to Juve, for that level of Chelsea and other news around the club in the last couple of days. But you know how it goes, before I get into the video make sure you smash the like button, come to at least 200 likes. If you're new here please do subscribe and hit the bell notification to stay all you want watch us. Like I say in all my videos please comment your thoughts and opinions on each topic and if you have any special questions you want me to answer in my next video please comment below, I'll try and answer as many as I can. So the first one, last 24 or 48 hours I've been saying sorry is a done deal to Juve. In fact, uh, one of the Juve's directors was a uh, picture of Mauricio Sarri's agent and we were expecting Chelsea to get 8 million compensation. Marina, at it again, a fantastic deal. I wanted Sarri to stay but it's just not meant to be. Um, 8 million, we were expecting but also Chelsea will not be letting Sarri go until we have found a replacement. These journalists have been saying Frank Lampard is expected. However, Telegraph have come out yesterday saying Chelsea have not approached Derby for the manager. So what are we waiting for? Could be Frank Lampard still deciding, maybe. But sources are saying close uh, to Lampard, family and friends are saying that he's ready to return back to the club. I think Chelsea overall bringing back all legends, former players, back to the club. Showing that they're trying to connect the fans with the board and the managers and the coaches, etc. So I think Chelsea might be looking at a different approach, especially with the transfer ban. It looks like we will be accepting a different error. So let's see what happens. It is also rumoured that we are expected to pay four million for Frank Lampard, uh, which is four million profit, whatever you want to call it, net spend. And it's a win-win. What are we waiting for? You know, today it came out saying that Derby have open talks to uh, extend Lampard's contract. For me, it's basically saying Chelsea pay the four million, or you'll be paying a lot more money later on. He's currently on a two-year deal. What are we waiting for? Today, I expected to do a video on how Lampard plays, but here we are, still talking about 24, 48, 72 hours. What are we waiting for, guys? Yeah, and the best bit about all of this is. The disrespect to Mitchell Sorry, the reports from UK coming out saying he lost the dressing room, uh, he made his choice when uh, fans were saying F Sorry ball back in March. It's typical bias against Chelsea. It's always been like that. Always. Nothing has changed with these uh, reports. So, that's the main story on the two managers. Sorry is expected to leave for Juve, 8 million. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Are you happy with Frank Lampard coming to Chelsea? Or do you expect another manager to come in? Obviously, Di Matteo, Drogba, um, all these players, former players, sorry, legends, are saying that Frank Lampard is ready. Dennis Wise said he wished uh, Sarri had stayed, but if he was to go, he wanted Zola to take over. And I kind of agree with that. I wanted Zola around at the club still. The to Daily Mail, Chelsea still want him around, but it depends on the new manager, what they want. And I think the question is, would Lampard let Zola go and bring in Jody Morris? Or would he keep Zola and bring Jody Morris somewhere else or maybe in the future? I don't know. It's going to be very interesting times at Chelsea. Let's see what happens. Good news, Allegri has said that he will be enjoying his vacation and watching the Serie A next season. So that is finally called off. There's no news on Allegri to Chelsea anymore. I'll be very surprised if anything comes up again. But that has finally closed all uh, Chelsea fans scare basically because I think personally uh, a lot of Chelsea fans were not happy with the news coming out you know Rafa Benitez, uh, Allegri and stuff like this it's basically two, one step forward two steps back that's what fans were saying in my opinion um, but I think people would be okay with Steve Holland maybe Jason Mourinho third, third time lucky I don't know but right now it looks like it will be Lampard uh, if not Lampard Probably Steve Holland in my eyes. That's what I think. But yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions, what you think will happen and why. So I want to speak about the players right now at the club. William, expected to get a two-year contract. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're going to be very, very annoyed. But I'll tell you something. I'm not saying he's going to turn world-class. I'm not saying he's going to turn the best player in the Premier League or anything. But I expect a better season from him personally. I'll tell you why. I think... As a team, he plays a lot better without Eden Hazard. And I think if he plays on the left, whilst Callum Hazard is injured and returning slowly, 
I think he can at least score maybe 10 league goals, something that he has never done at the club before, let alone his career, maybe. So, I know you guys are probably thinking I'm trolling and stuff, but I really think, um, as a team, I think our wingers need to take responsibility and do a lot more, especially Hazard's gone, we need to see more from these players, and I think William could do that. Now, my question to you guys is, when, when or if Frank Lampard comes, do you think he will drop William, Mark Alonso, Barkley, all these players for the youth that he plays? Do you think so? Because I'll tell you something, the pressure at Chelsea is always high. I don't think they'll change it for Lampard. If they give him uh, support financially in a year's time or you know, give him support in terms of results not going his way, then fair play. Absolute fair play, but history does not lie. We sack managers, we sack legends. Even Dimitri won Champions League, he got sacked. It happens at Chelsea, so maybe that's why Lampard might be having second thoughts. Is he ready to take over at a, at a club that's right at its lowest? But maybe, like I said earlier in the video, Chelsea are looking at a new direction by appointing all these legends back to the club. So, two year contract for William, let me know realistically your thoughts. I know many people are going to be angry, but Tell me the truth, I'm trying to be as positive as possible. I think it could be a decent year for William, personally. Uh, Tammy Abraham came out and said that he's not ruling out a move away from Chelsea. But of course, as a, as a boy, his dream was to become a top striker at Chelsea. And he can make it next season. He can make it for sure. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions on Tammy Abraham. Do you think we need him still? I do believe we need him, at least second choice striker. I want him instead of Michi Batshuayi. Uh, Giroud is expected to stay. And of course, Higain is expected to stay at Juve. Now, Juve fans don't want him, but his brother has come out and said that he will, he wants to respect the contract of Juve. Basically saying he wants to play for Juve. His first season there was a success and he deserves another chance. So for me... I don't mind that. Good luck to him if he moves back to Juve. You can go back. Um, I also want to talk about the contracts of Kalen Hassan and Dyer and Loftus Sheik. I know many people say, where's this contract? When is it going to happen? Um, I believe the club is waiting for the next manager to be announced. Whether it's Sarri, whether it's you know Lampard or Steve Holland or whoever it is, no contracts will be announced until that basically is done. We're, sorry, we're expecting Kalen Hassan and Dyer Five year deal, 100,000 a week. I don't know about the shirt signing, could be number 10. Let's see what happens. Apparently, Polisic was number 10 as well. Lots of sheep were expecting a new deal as well. These two players, we need to wrap it up as soon as possible. Um, and like I said in my previous videos, Olena has gone to Torino. Uh, I don't know if you saw his tribute video on uh, Twitter and Instagram. He was quite, quite emotional. Of course, he's not. You know the best youth to make it out at Chelsea, but I think he had a lot of potential and could have had an impact like Reese James in my eyes. I'm happy Reese James is coming back for sure, but I need to know what the next manager is thinking. And are you worried about what Chelsea are actually doing right now? We're taking long. What is it today? The 14th or 15th of June right now. Not too long to go until the Premier League starts, and we still haven't sorted out the manager. Players will be starting pre-season properly. What are we playing at? It's exactly like last year. Sorry being blamed for all of this. Yeah, he only had what one or two weeks maybe? And fans expecting him to get his sorry all perfect. Now, I want to say one more thing. Frank Lampard will always be welcome at Chelsea, yeah. But please don't get mixed up between player and manager. There's a massive difference in this. You need to take that away. You need to think properly. Yes, he's the best player that we've had at Chelsea as a pl as, as an actual player. Most goals, trophies, legend, everything. But when it comes to actual manager, I, I believe if he doesn't get the results right, I just hope Chelsea, the fans, the board, everyone gets behind him. But we didn't get behind Sorry. So I'm not going to be surprised if something goes wrong. And if he gets sacked... Then let's see what happens with the fans and the board. I think there'll be a massive backlash. I don't know what will happen, but let's not think about it now. Let's all get behind the fans, um, behind the manager if he joins. I'm expecting it to be done very soon. You know, Sari is ready to leave. He's already said, you know, he wants to return back home, family and friends, everything's there. He's ready to go back. So let's hope 
it's done within the next 24 48 hours but I don't you know take my word on it it's going back and forth we're expecting Chelsea to pay the money to Derby and hopefully it's done as soon as possible yeah if you enjoyed this video please smash the like button as I said get me 200 likes if you're new here subscribe hit the bell notification and ask your questions as well so I can answer in my next video but yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video long time since I use a camera man I'm out